guys, it's Angelica. And I just wanted to do a little get to know me video where I talked a little bit about myself, what it is I want to post on this YouTube channel and have you guys get to know me more so that um, you can look forward to more of my videos. So let's get right into it. I currently have a coffee from Wawa, which if you are not from the uh, North East, then you wouldn't know what this um, brand is. But um, for those New Englanders who know what um, Cumberland Farms is, it's pretty similar. So it started as a gas station convenience store and now they have food prepared coffees, um, snacks, literally it's like a souped up gas station and it's amazing. So I have a big one. I'm actually currently home. I drove home for the weekend and I'm in New Jersey. So I decided to treat myself to a big coffee before I go drive back to Massachusetts. So good. I got a vanilla chai with almond milk. So this is a 24 ounce and I think they put like almost a good eight ounces of um, almond milk. So kind of uh, evens out the taste so that the chai isn't too spicy, but I like it. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but some people love and hate that sound. Also, I wanted to mention a little things um, that I do. So I do smoke weed and right now I'm currently in, like I said, in my parents' house and I'm allowed to smoke weed because this is where I was originally uh, exploring my coping skills of smoking. So yeah, I'm currently smoking on a um, Happy Valley cartridge from, that's from East Boston. They originated in Gloucester, but now they have an East Boston location and it's amazing. Um, this is Lilac OG. I got this um, C-cell battery from, I think, 420science.com. They have a lot of great stuff, so highly recommend. So if you guys don't know anything about vaping um, cartridges that have specifically THC in them, they uh, the vapor goes away pretty instantaneously while you smoke, so it doesn't leave any type of smell or um, residual lingering of weed. So if you do have stricter parents that maybe um, don't like the smell, smoking cartridges and using batteries are really great. I have one that hides my glass so that if I drop it, which I have many times, the glass and the cartridge doesn't break and the wax doesn't come out. So yeah. Lilac OG has a little bit of CBD in it as well. So I really like it for during the day, out on the go, um, whenever I'm feeling a little anxious from certain situations or you know, just day to day, either um, anxiety from traffic, I'll usually hit it once I am done driving and then I'll go throughout whatever I have to do and then get back into the car. And usually I feel a lot more calm, which is awesome. I wanted to go over a few of my favorite smoking habits as well, since this is mostly a smoking video. I um, prefer to smoke out of glass and I am starting to build up my glass collection. So I'm hoping to buy a couple more pieces soon so that I can show you guys and maybe have a glass collection video up soon. Let me know if you would like to see that. Also, I name my glass pieces. I don't know if anyone else does that, but I get very sentimental. So I also have a glass graveyard, just a little sticky note um, in my phone that, uh, just can commemorate all of the glass pieces that I've had before because they've served me well. I 
I really want to get connected to some weave YouTubers here on Instagram and um, YouTube. So if you guys know any that you'd want to recommend to me to follow, just um, say it in the comments down below. I always feel really calm after I hit this strain. A lot more like centered, easy to be like myself without overthinking, which is very helpful. I got into smoking weed as a coping skill for my mental health, specifically um, intrusive thoughts and severe anxiety and depression. Um, my family can attest to a lot of this. I, I was a really sensitive child when I was younger and I cried a lot, which is not a bad thing whatsoever, but it's just something that I had to learn to live around. And it's still something that, not that I struggle with, but with that I currently deal with, that my emotions end up being um, a surge of crying. So it happens and, you know, with smoking weed, I find that when I'm high, I can control my emotional reaction rather not suppressing it, but controlling it in a way that I can process how I'm feeling without emotionally reacting right off the bat. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me know down below if you have any other similar thoughts on why you started smoking as well. Before I was really scared and would not smoke with anyone um, that I knew and when I was offered when I was younger, um, it was not something that I was interested in, but as soon as I realized how helpful it could be for my mental health, it was something that changed my life completely. Yeah. <laughs> See you soon. Thank you for watching.